Almost 15 years after the artist's passing, the final release from the estate of Paddy Bedford offers an exceptional opportunity to experience the work of one of Australia's most influential artists. Gunji Nungguin, Paddy Bedford, was a senior Gija lawman who became a critical figure in East Kimberley painting. The assertiveness of the exhibition's title is a direct quote. I am the law is a broad encapsulation of Paddy Bedford's identity. It refers to his embodiment of the Ngarangani and his motivation to paint the laws and dreamings of his mother's and father's country. It also frames an understanding of his legacy. In protecting the integrity of cultural law, he developed a new visual language open to interpretation. Baluban, or Motokai Yard, is one of the most important ancestral sites painted by Paddy Bedford. The English name for the place has resulted from an old car being abandoned there long ago. The outstanding feature of Baluban is this small flat rock that stands high up on a hill. This is the manifestation of Wawulunya, the frill-necked or blanket lizard. In ancestral times, Baluban was home to both Wawulunya and Girganji, the brown falcon who stole the fire and the food of Wawulunya as he sat cooking to keep himself warm. The two men fought, but Girganji took off and set fire to the land, leaving Walwulanya to transform into the rock, forever contemplating his loss. The figure rising from the bottom of the painting is an unusual representation of Walwulanya. In other paintings that depict this site, Paddy Bedford usually represents him as a rounded form, hovering or just touching the black ground. Here he's almost hung, suspended, drawn upwards by the surrounding halo in the composition. The vertical landscape is the focus of his gaze in lament for the battle lost. In respect of the law, Paddy Bedford avoids any ritual iconography. Medicine Pocket was painted in 2002 when Paddy Bedford created a powerful series of paintings that addressed the harrowing stories and dangerous sights of this country. The massacre story of Bedford Downs was the subject matter at this time. The explicitly titled Two Women Looking at the Bedford Downs Massacre Burning Place was included in the groundbreaking exhibition Blood on the Spin Effects in Melbourne 2002. Medicine Pocket shares the same large scale size and the similar steel blue-grey palette of the paintings of this period. The weight of these atrocities and the echoes of mourning appear to hang heavy on the landscape. There are two places that Paddy Bedford paints from his mother's country that share the name Fish Hole. This painting relates to Biryalji, one of many deep permanent freshwater springs that are abounding with fish. This landmark painting from 1998 is one of his first works on canvas and the first painting set aside for the Paddy Bedford Trust, linking his past to his future. Some of the forms that take shape in this early work are distilled in later paintings, the elliptical shapes and the arch lines that continue beyond the canvas. Paddy Bedford shows an intuitive understanding of the composition dynamics within the pictorial frame. We hope you can experience this significant exhibition in person at our new galleries on Exhibition Street. Collectively, this important group of paintings marks the end of Paddy Bedford's carefully planned estate, which in one sense closes a unique chapter in Australian art history. In another, it opens anew, freeing the last pieces of his opus to complete his series and continue to enrich the cultural landscape, educating Gija knowledge and language, and hold the true history of the East Kimberley region.